Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Warzone 3 guide. Today I'm going to be talking to you and explaining the prioritize reload function on Call of Duty Warzone 3 and what this actually means for your gameplay and yes, it is the second best option out of four if you ask me. So let me talk you through it. So if I go to my settings, go to controller, uh, go to the yeah, controller gameplay at the top, then scroll all the way down to my interact slash reload behavior, you'll see that I've already covered tap to reload and tap to interact. But now if I put on prioritize reload, what does this actually mean? So what it means if we read it is tap to reload and interact, tap to reload, hold to interact when they are both available at the same time. So in essence, prioritize reload means that if, for example, I've shot some bullets and I can reload my gun, but I'm also standing next to a supply crate or standing next to a door. So if I have prioritize reload on, in a scenario when I can reload my gun and open a supply box, by tapping square, it's going to reload my gun. It's not going to open that supply box. So it only accounts for a scenario when both options are available at the same time. Now, for example, with prioritize reload on, if I don't need to reload my gun and a door is right there, if I want to interact with that door, I simply just have to tap square. But if, for example, I close that door, I shoot my gun, I can now reload and I can also open the door. If I tap square, it's going to reload. So that is exactly what prioritize reload means and how it will work with your gameplay. Now for me, that's the second best option there is. The next one I'm about to show you in my next video, in my opinion, is the best for anyone looking to improve their Call of Duty Warzone 3 gaming, get more kills and become a better player. Thank you for watching.